Hello everyone. So in today's lecture we are going to be talking about bithanicol which is actually a direct acting cholinergic agonist. So this agent actually enhance the activity of acetylcholine. So if we talk about its structure, it is actually unsubstituted carbamoyl ester. This agent is actually structurally related to acetylcholine and structurally it is ester of carbamic acid if we draw its structure it is something like this here is the methyl group being attached to it which have some importance so this is a quaternary amine which is actually further attached with four atoms this agent is not hydrolyzed by acetylcholine esterase due to the esterification of carbamic acid. This is the structure of carbamic acid. So this hydroxyl group is being replaced by oxygen and alkyl group which is called as esterification of carbamic acid although it is inactivated by other esterase enzymes but it is not hydrolyzed by acetylcholine esterase not work over here but can be inactivated by other esterase so this is the structure of bithanicol Due to this methyl group, bithanicol lacks nicotinic activity. Because of this methyl group, there is no nicotinic activity of bithanicol, but it has a strong muscarinic activity. Its major actions are on smooth muscles like that of bladder and GI tract. And if we talk about its duration of action, its duration of action is of one hour. So next we are going to be talking about its action on human body. Bithanicol directly stimulate muscarinic receptors and therefore they can increase intestinal motility and tone. So they increase intestinal motility and tone. Not only this, it also stimulate urination because it caused the relaxation of sphincter muscles and trigon muscles. If we talk about the therapeutic uses of bithanicol, it is used in urological conditions such as it is used to treat atony of bladder, Not only this, it is also used to treat 
urinary retention which is being caused in various diseases or conditions such as postpartum that is falling childbirth post operative and non obstructive urinary retention where is there is no visible obstruction but there is urinary retention going on in patient's body other than that tenacol is also used to treat neurogenic atony as well as megacolon if we talk about the adverse effects which are being caused by this direct acting cholinergic agonist so adverse effects include generalized cholinergic stimulation such as sweating flushing there is warmth and redness of facial skin and decreased blood pressure nausea and abdominal pain not only this there can also be a cranes of diarrhea and bronchospas severe cardiovascular and bronchoconstrictor responses to this agents can be overcome by the administration of atropine sulfate so this was all about it if you have any question let me know in the comment section below and thank you for watching my videos